on, guys? Good morning. It is the 7th of February. It is 10 of 5 in the morning on the East Coast. It's 4.50. We're looking at Casper. Welcome to the channel if you are new and appreciate all of the current subscribers. Casper Cryptocurrency getting a nice, nice move to the upside. Currently up 9%. To welcome you on your Tuesday morning. A lot of the markets are actually up today. Some up, of, some up more than others. But it is nice to see some green across the board for the bulls. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you are not yet subscribed, consider doing so. A lot of my viewers, hundreds of them actually, not yet subscribed. Let's check out Casper. Finally, finally getting some what we've been waiting for for a very long time now for the Casper slash Tether CSPR USDT chart. So we put in a double top for a very short time. We have this major high right here on the 18th of January that found resistance at one of our price levels, which is 415. I'll leave the arrow right there. Had a pullback, found support down there at 313 and 310, and kind of marched forward ever since that date, which was the 26th of January. Traded all the way back up to, to resistance again at 415 on the 5th of February, so just two days ago. Pulled all the way back down to roughly 36363. And today, finally getting a move back up into those 415, 435, actually. Haven't said that price in a while range. So we will see if we can hold above 415. That is an important area to close above. We almost hit our next level above the market, which is at 435. You can see it right here, 435 is that faded white line. Our high today so far is 433. So very close to target, another target slash resistance level up there at 435. It would be nice to see the price close above one, this high over here, the 5th of February, that high is 419. We are currently above that. Two, it would be nice to see the price close above this high as well, which was the 18th of January, and that is at 420. So we have 420, we have 419, and then currently we, we want to close above 4.15 as well. So at the minimum, close above 4.15. Ideally, you're, we're going to close above 4.20. And that would be a nice, solid breakout to the upside for Casper. Let's go to a three-minute time frame real quick so we can see how the price looks when it got up to that. So it didn't quite get to that level. It got close to our 435, which is right here, and got pushed back down. And we're kind of stuck in between our two zones, which is 435 and 415. Let's head back to the daily chart. I'm going to get rid of that watch list on the side. You can see we are in this trading zone that we have been in for Let's see, let's call it call it May of 22. So it's been a long time, guys, that we are in this trading zone. And we're still in that trading zone. We have yet to break out of it. We're just heading up to the, to the upper range. So we have a important high. So if we can close above the... 18th of January, and that is that 420 high. Our next high level, our next very important level, I should say, to get above would be this high over here on the 
17th of October, and that is 55. That is 0.055. That is the next major high to get above. You could also talk about this high as well on the 26th of October, and that is 506. Between those two high, the 17th and the 26th, two major areas to also keep an eye on as the price gets, assuming it does get up to that area. But we have some small road roadblocks in between that, in between where we're at and those highs as we move higher. One is at 435. That is, we almost got there today and got pushed back down, which is usually what you see when we get to these price levels. Then you have 466. That's next in line. And then we finally get up to those highs at 509 and 522. All of those things are little battles, I should say, for the price as it approaches. If you are new to the channel, welcome. You might be wondering why I have so many horizontal lines on the chart. Up and down, above the market and below the market. They act as support and resistance lines. So as price approaches, just like today, let's zoom in. Just like today, as the price approached our 435, although it didn't quite hit it, it is acting as resistance and pushing the price back down for a period of time. Below the market, we look for support, just like we saw support show up here at the 26th of January. Price traded down, closed above, that is support. So as price moves higher, our next level above the market is obviously 435. We have not traded above that yet. 466, 509, and 522 are all of the levels that we should see a reaction by the price as it gets close or even hits trades above for a period of time. Let's throw some Fibonacci's up on the chart. Let's see what the Fibs say. And let's see if the fibs line up with some of our price levels. Just going to clean up the chart here. So we'll take a couple different areas for the fibs. One will take this move here, which was the 18th of January down to the 26th of January. So that gives us a 1618 fib level which is very close to our 522 guys and our 509 actually it's basically in between that's right here let me get the right tool that is right here so that also correlates with our major high over here on the 17th so that is an important area that i would keep an eye on as price approaches that area not only one is it a fib level, two, we, we have two levels there, and three, it's the major high back in October. Let's see what else we have above the market from the fibs. This looks interesting. We have a two, uh, the 2618 fib is just about at our, matches up pretty much perfectly with our 727 level or 0 0.0727 level is also a 2618 fib at 0 0.0723 another very important area to keep an eye on and what else do we have above the market let's see we have a 4236 fib up there at the 12 cent range and we have a price up there at 1286, so another important area. So the 1618, the 2618, the 4236, all important FIB levels. Let's see what we have moving higher here. If anything lines up with our chart, I don't think our prices go much higher than 97 cents. So that is pretty cool, exciting as the price, assuming the price does get up to those levels this cycle that you have some fibs 
lining up with some of our levels on the most recent consolidation. That would be very cool to see that. So that is kind of my thoughts here on Casper. We have some levels right around the market that we're watching. We have some highs going back into October that we're watching. And then we have some roadblocks right in between that, which would be 435, 466. And then we get up to that 509, 522 level. Looking for a bullish close today, at least at the minimum above 415. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you are not yet subscribed, consider doing so. Like I said, hundreds of viewers not yet subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and join us here. I appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll catch you guys in the next video.